Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all well. Um, today's makeup tutorial is based on the Morphe palette and this is the 18, um, 18B palette. And I'm gonna do an eyeshadow look with these beautiful colors. I haven't touched the palette yet, as you can tell. So this is kind of, whoo, this is kind of gonna be me trying it out for the first time as well and letting you guys know what I think of it because um, my friend um, recommended it to me. So I have done my foundation already. I'm gonna come back and do the concealer after the eyes. Um, I use the Silk Creme Moisturizing Cream Foundation. Um, this one you have to shake to put on. It gives a nice sort of, quite like a glowy finish. Um, and this is in Vanilla Ivory. I really like it. It's really nice and it smells incredible. So if you can get your hands on it, get your hands on it. Um, I'm just gonna pop my eyebrows on. I'll probably do it off camera because it gets boring if you keep watching me do my eyebrows anyway. Um, so I've got the brow blade in Top Trap and again in Brunette Betty. And I'm just gonna do the pencil and then the um, ink stain as well. Um, this is really running low, so I really need a new one. I think it's officially empty. That's really sad. Life goes on. And then I've got my brow finish, um, the Urban Decay Brow Finish Brow Gel. So I haven't gone too heavy on the eyebrows. I've just kept it quite, um, quite soft, just because the eye look will probably be a bit more intense. So as an eye base, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. So this one is like a skin color. Um, this will just help everything look a little bit more vibrant, I think, and be a good base. If you've got really, really dry eyelids though, I probably wouldn't recommend this product just because it is a little bit drying. So now that that's on, I can finally dip into this now. I'm so excited. So they do have names. The names actually come on a little bit of plastic, so I'll uh, we probably need that. Right, so I think to start, I'm gonna put um, deposits, which is this one here, all over my eyelid just to set the base. Just got a generic um, blending brush. Ooh. Okay, might be a lot of fallout with this, I don't actually know. This is actually my first Morphe palette. Um, I know I've jumped on the bandwagon a little bit late, but um, never too late, is it? And I love green, green is really nice for brown eyes. Yeah. Right, what shall I go into next? I've got a MAC 217 brush, casual card it's called. I take that in my crease. Ooh, there's a lot of fallout in that, look at that. I barely tapped into that one. Damn, right. Okay, so don't go prodding into the product with your brush, you only need to tap into it. This is really pigmented. Okay, now I'm going to go onto a green. I'm going to use, <laughs> it's called Dollar Dollar, um, which is this beautiful bright green here. It looks stunning. And I'm actually just gonna pack that onto my lid to meet up with that brown. I've got the Laura Mercier color, uh, eye color brush just to pack on that green. I'm interested to see what the fallout is like with this because obviously I've already done my foundation. So we shall see. Oh yeah, that's green. That is nice. Wow. This green is so nice. Obviously not everyone's cup of tea. If you don't like wearing colors in your eyes, then this video ain't for you. But I think it's good to experiment sometimes. Gonna go back into the 217 brush and I'm just gonna blend the edge. I'm trying not to pull it out or up. I'm just blending on top of it, just so I can get rid of that seam. Just do another layer of it on top of there. Okay, so far I'm extremely impressed. This is beautiful. Um, Green on brown eyes as well makes it look like really, um, makes the brown look more amber. I think I'm gonna put that deeper brown, uh, deeper green, sorry, yeah, it's called Got Paid on the outer V of the eye. I'm gonna take a different brush for this because I don't wanna mix all of the greens and it become like a big bruised looking mess on my face. 
I know it looks quite strange right now, but you have to keep going. You've got to keep going with these colors until the end, because as soon as you put on all your concealer and everything on afterwards, it looks so much better. So I've got that, um, what was it, got paid, I think? Yeah, got paid color on a, a Zoeva Putty um, Crease Brush. So this is gonna go on the outer V of the eye. That keeps falling down, excuse. It's like one of those off shoulder tops, but um, if you take it off shoulder, everything shows. Don't really want that to happen, so. So I'm stamping it in quite a lot um, and then blending off the edges a little bit. I just don't wanna move the color around too much. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a halo eye. So it's basically dark in the outside, dark in the inside, lighter in the middle. Um, so I'm gonna take a bit of that got paid color, but I need a smaller brush for this. So I've got the Urban Decay Honey Palette brush. This has just got a smaller edge, um, but it's quite flat, which is quite nice to get into the inner corner. So I've got that same dark green color on there. I'm gonna pop it in here. Just make sure when your eyes are open, you can actually see the color popping through. So bring it up higher if you need to. Um, this look isn't subtle, by the way. <laughs> and then back in with that um, um, pretty crease brush from Zoeva. Just blend that a little middle bit. Do you know what? I was worried with these eyeshadows that they might be a bit chalky, um, but they actually feel very creamy, even though the fallout is like quite a lot in the palette. It hasn't actually fall, fall down hasn't fell down under my eyes um, much at all, actually. So you've got the dark in the outside, dark in the inside, and then slightly joining it at the top. I'm gonna use the other side of the honey brush, um, and I feel like I can't not take a bit of that yellow. What's that yellow called? Jackpot, obviously. That's gonna go on the top of the crease. Woo, that is yellow. Just let that green sort of blend into it a little bit. And I'm just popping into that first color um, deposits and just popping that in the brow just to really diffuse that yellow out. I think I want the yellow to sort of pop more here. So I've just put the yellow back onto that brush. Going back into that dark green. Right now, so I wanna put a little bit of shimmer on the inside now as it wants to get lighter. Um, I think I'm gonna try this one first, this really light bluey green. Um, this is called Make It Rain. Make it rain. Oops. I've got an Urban Decay Naked One brush for the Naked One palette. Um, I'm going to spritz my brush with, um, you can use a setting spray, priming spray. I've got the Rebound Prep Spray by Urban Decay. I'm just gonna, too much. And then dip that into that blue. This is just gonna make it a little bit more intense. And then pop that in the center of the eyelid. How nice is that? Um, I've just been going over it with the brush and a bit with my finger. Gives it such a nice pop though. I'm also gonna pop a little bit of that um, blue, green on the inside of my eye with the um, Zoeva brush. Okay, going back in with Dollar Dollar, um, the first green I used there. Um, I'm going to take it underneath the eye now because I think this will help everything look better. This why it's not falling down. This will really marry up the look, I think, now. And just join it with the green on the outside. And then again, I'm going to dark uh, bleh, dip into the darkest 
uh, brown, darkest green under my eye. I've got um, MAC Fluid Line Eye Pencil in Metropolis. This is the black one. And I'm gonna pop this into my waterline, into the top and bottom waterline actually. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of Brazilian Air um, on my finger and I'm just gonna pop that in the center of the eye. It's got like a gold green reflex glitter in it. It's really, mm. I'm gonna pop a tiny bit of Brazilian Air as well underneath the eye. I think this look needs lashes uh, just to make it a bit more like powy. So I've got the Urban Lash um, in Bohem. I think it's called Bohem. Bohem? Sounds about right. Nice fluttery um, lashes just to make the eyes pop a bit more. And I've got my duo glue as well that I'm using it with. Just think it's a really good glue. This is the white one, um, which obviously dries clear on the lid and then I'll put some mascara on afterwards. Just let the, the glue dry for 20 seconds or so. I've just um, snipped the edge off as well, just so that it's not too long on my eye. I always think the um, false lashes are like a little bit too long, so I just cut them down. You just have to wait for the glue to dry. Um, I'm just pushing them downwards a little bit as they dry in, because I don't want to stick them up too much. I always find it easier to do eyelashes before putting mascara on, just I think sometimes when you put mascara on, your eyelashes are like too hard and then you like can't see where you're placing your lashes. That's just my way of doing it. Now I've got my Clinique Lash Power Mascara, just because it's nice and small, it's really good to bind the lashes with the with your eyelashes. I've got a little bit of gel eyeliner. This is the Bobbi Brown Black Ink Liner, um, and a tiny little brush, just like an angled brush or something will be fine. What's this one? Louise Young. LY37 brush, just really nice and thin. Just dip that in to the black gel. And I'm just gonna cover the slight seam of the eyelashes as well, just to thicken up the lash line. I'm gonna take a little bit of that gel liner as well in the waterline. It's gonna look a little bit more intense than the pencil. I'm also gonna run that underneath the eye a little bit. I'm just going to take that darkest green again, um, what was it called? Got Paid. Um, and I'm just going to intensify the join between the two darker sides. Just in here. I'm just putting it up a little bit more. And then I'm dipping back into that yellow and I'm just really doing it on the very edge of the green and not smoking it out now. Um, I'm gonna pop some concealer under my eyes now. I've got the same one I always use, the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer in 20WY. I'm gonna take away this. Um, to be fair, Fallout's been pretty good. It's been all right. I'm just gonna take it underneath all the way along. So I want this to be quite sharp. And I've got actually a Body Shop um, foundation brush and this is just gonna be pressed in. And just use a clean little blending brush and just blend it together with the green. So there's no weird lines there with the concealer. I think concealer instantly makes a difference anyway when you're doing a look like this. I'm 
This is even more glam than my glam look the other day. I think I'm actually just gonna pop just a tiny bit of concealer under my brow bone, just to make that bit a little bit more crisp. Cause um, I think I've, I don't really like how I've done the yellow at the top. So I've just got the Louise Young lip brush, um, the Y, sorry, LY26. It's kind of like carving around your brows, but um, I don't normally like doing that. It's basically keeping the yellow um, very thin over the brown. Okay, now I'm gonna bronze up a bit. I've got the Urban Decay Naked Flushed um, Little Palette in Naked, and I'm, but I'm just using the bronzer from this. I'm not using the blush. So I'm gonna take a Real Techniques uh, Duo Fiber Face Brush, and I'm gonna dip into their bronzer. Deep eye looks like this can really um, pale out the face. And then I have the Sleek Blush in Suede 921. There we go. Really pretty blusher on a Spectrum C07 brush on the apples of the cheeks. Out. I'll go into the Urban Decay Naked Flush palette for the highlighter. I'm gonna use that middle highlight there. This is the Naked one. The Real Technique Setting Brush. And just pop that on the high points of the, of the cheeks. Oh yeah. I love this highlighter. It's so pretty. And then for, um, oh, I should do under eye mascara. Just take the Lash Power one. For lip liner, I have the Urban Decay Stark Naked um, Lip Liner. This is a really nice nude. I think nude will look nice with the eyes, just so the eyes is the focus. I've just coloured the whole lip in with that. And I also have the um, matching lipstick as well, so the Stark Naked one. And then pop a bit of lip gloss on. I have the MAC Cream Sheen Lip Gloss in Partial to Pink. So this would just bring a bit of life to the lips. And these are really nice because they're not sticky. They're like, they're just glossy and they smell so nice. Honestly, this, this lip gloss, it's like, it goes on like butter. Okay guys, so that is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I know this is very um, intense and it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I love playing with color anyway, and it's a bit of fun really. So highly recommended, really love. I love all the colors, the payoff's amazing. I'll have to use it a little bit more and actually use some of the colors I haven't used today. Cause you could even just do, um, like forget the greens. You could actually do um, really subtle looks or like a quite a bronzy look, this one, this color looks lush. But um, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.